In this video, I'm going to talk about using the top values criteria. I have a table here that has some sales data, and when I run this query just normally, you'll see that it has 3,167 rows, and it basically lists revenue by territory. Now, if I wanted to find out what the top 25 territories are as far as revenues go, I would simply um, sort descending by revenue and I could count out 25 and say well these are the, these are the top 25 maybe copy even copy and paste them out to Excel now but if I wanted to do this on a routine basis or I wanted to uh, link this query to a, a bigger process there's actually a way to pull out just the top 25 uh, through the QBE what you want to do first is determine what is top 25 to you. In my case, I would like to show the, the territory with the biggest sales first, so I would go ahead and hit descending order here. Uh, if you wanted to show the bottom 25, you would want to go ahead and hit ascending. But descending is fine for me. And then I'm going to come up here to where it says all, and you'll notice if you hover your mouse right there, it says top values. That's the, this is where you would put your criteria for the type of top values. And I can come down here and select 25. Now, it doesn't have to be 25. It could be 34. It could be 62 or 54. Um, 25 is good for me. And so now I, got, I have this query that when now when I run it, I only get 25 records and I get the top 25. And each uh, territory gives me a unique record. So now I've got the top 25. Now let's say I want to put in or get a list of the top 25%. These are the top 25% of sales. So if I click right here to percent and I run that, it's going to give me the top 25%. It's going to give me far more than 25. It'll give me 792, but this is the top 25% of sales. So that's the gist of the top values criteria in Access.